this week we're talking about tempo. Yes, tempo. So you can think of tempo as the speed the music goes. Maybe you could clock it on your watch exactly how fast it's going. But I have to tell you, tempo is more than just a speed. It's more than just the pace the music goes at. It's the feel of the music. That's right. So we use words that tell us the feel and the speed the music goes. We talked about this this week with the story of the tortoise and the hare. Do you remember that story? Yes, we listened to the music of the tortoise and the hare while it was narrated. Now, whenever the, the hare was racing, you heard quick notes, da 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 and the music went fast. We named our hair Allegro, because Allegro is that word that means fast, lively, just like a hare bounding through a race. Then we named our tortoise Lento, because Lento means slow, kind of labored. When he was going through the race, it was hard. He had to move slowly, but steady. So, the tortoise and the hare were racing. And we said, who's going to win? Well, of course, we think the hare is going to win. He's faster. Allegro is a faster tempo than Lento. Now, in the story, the reason that Lento ended up being the winner was because, well, the hare had a different kind of problem. It was his attitude. Yeah, he took a nap by the finish line, waiting for everyone to come watch him and waiting for all the photographers to get there. And in the end, Lento passed him while the hare was asleep. But we can remember that Lento is that slow, steady pace. Not hurried, not at all, just slow. And Allegro is that fast and vibrant and, and bounding type of tempo. There are a couple other tempos that we can talk about. Andante. Andante is a walking tempo. When you're walking, not slow, not fast, just comfortably. That's walking on Dante. And one more. Let's say a cheetah was in the race. Yeah, a cheetah. You know, the ones with the spots. If a cheetah had been in a race with the hare and the tortoise, number one, as long as he didn't have a, an attitude problem, he probably would have been the winner. But also, um, he goes by a different tempo. Much faster, and we call it presto. Isn't that a great word? Presto, that means very fast. So we have four words. We have lento, slow, labored, steady. We have andante, a regular walking tempo. We have allegro, spirited, energetic, and fast. And then we have presto, very fast. Those are four new words that you learned this week about tempo. And tempo can be the fifth word. Tempo, the pace, and the speed the music goes. If you were to go to a concert and watch an orchestra play, you would see all the musicians seated on stage in a semicircle, and in the middle is one person, the conductor. The conductor is the man or woman who is standing there and leading the orchestra through the music. That's right. That person gives all the musicians the cues on how fast or slow to play, the tempo. He lets them know how loud or soft to play, the dynamics. And it keeps all the musicians playing together. Now, if you're watching for tempo, you may see the conductor use big, long strokes with their arm or baton. And perhaps that is a slow part of the music. Perhaps it's majestic and they need to make it slow and big. Maybe it needs to be slow and sad. The conductor will show those things with their arms or their baton. Maybe it's a part that's lively and quick and it might have a small, sharp movements with the baton. That's right. So the tempo can be shown in the movements that the conductor makes. 
Next time you're at a concert, take a look at the conductor and see how their movements affect how the musicians play. They're changing the tempo, they're changing the feel, and they're telling the story in the music. Great job. I'll see you in preschool.